I saw you when you said something about um, like guys like Soldier Boy, where they're already successful and then come to LA and then they uh, become a, affiliated or a part of a certain uh, group or whatever. What's your perspective on that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I would think you had something better to do, but so what the fuck yeah. do I know? But then how does somebody like like Wayne become affiliated with something like that? Easy. You meet Term from the mob and Term show you the culture and you see how much love, you see how much respect, you know. You, is Term a person? Oh. Term, so Terminator is a person from the mob. He's oh, okay. Really good dude. Eastside, my partner, feel me? And he's from Mob Paru. And if you see Term, Term is like one of the people that make gangbanging look fun, easy, and smooth. He make it look entirely too easy. And he has a, he's a very contagious soul. I mean, if you see him, you want to be a part of what he's doing. That's how kind of person he is. Whack, whack star, they used to roll with Chuck, that, you know, a lot of them people, they, they have contagious souls. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a part of what they're doing because they make it look so easy and smooth and cold and, 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 and good. They make it look good. Mm. And um, it's a lifestyle. I want to say respect them, you know very tribal, man. It's very tribal. It's, it's something to be a part of. It's something that you see and to be a part of. But how do I feel about Soldier Boy doing it? I mean, I would think he got something better to do, but where do I know? Mm. You know I mean? Yeah. If he like it, I love it for him. Yeah. I think he tripping, but <laughs> shit, I think he could do a thousand things better than this. Yeah. It's gonna be a mason or something, nigga. Like, yeah. Get out of jail for free. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me something. They got cooler organizations. So there's something... Um... That's interesting because, uh, like, the the rapper B Dot, sure. right? Uh, first of all, B Dot is one of my favorite. B Dot is nice. Girl. I love B Dot, bro. B Dot is nice. I, I, I love B Dot. I think he, so nice, know, he's so nice. He's dope. something else. So he's special. But um, I, he has a song where he says, "I'm split." And he's talking about that split of being like trapped one foot where, you know, he's a part of a gang and, you know, wanting to retaliate in certain ways, you know, obviously dealing with death, murder, robberies, et cetera. And then, you know, on the other side, once you had that information and just being conscious and aware of like, yo, I could do something better with myself. Like, you know, is that something that you deal with at times as well or not really? I'm going to do what I want to do no matter what. Mm. Ain't nobody pressuring me to do shit. That day is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to want to do it if it's supposed to be done. So. Yeah. Um, B-Dot is a little younger. You yeah. feel me? And, and, you know, he trapped me. I told him the other day, I was like, bro, you got to give up. Like, you you don't got to be the hero all the time. You know, just be yourself. And I think sometimes we get caught up trying to be the hero all the time and present ourselves, but... Being a hero may not be what you think it is. Mm. Like I always say, Thanos was trying to save the world too. Yeah. You feel me? Like being a hero is not always being liked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Batman, that's why I look at Jay. Like I have to think twice before I say something counterproductive to what Jay is doing. Yeah. Because it's like, I remember at a time Batman, you feel me, in the film, and I always relate to the films, but I remember a time when he had to take the you know, he had to take the, the charge for, Har, uh, for Harvey Dent's murder. Mm -hmm. You know, he had to become the villain. So you never know. Yeah. Oh, could be right. But B-Dot just, B-Dot is different. I don't feel that same pressure. Like, yeah. I ain't split between shit. If I want to bust a nigga head, I don't give a fuck how much I like I'm trying to help black people. You must have did something real fucked up for me to want to bust your shit. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it didn't matter what color you is. Yeah. For me, if I want to bust your shit, it is not because you stepped on some shoes. It ain't because you ran into my car. It ain't because you did nothing simple. Yeah. You did something that I thought you do not need to be on this earth anymore. And that's going to be, you did some shit. Yeah. So, no, I'm not split. If I did it to you, you got it coming. 